So in this Power World video, I'm going to be showing you all a really useful glitch that you can utilize to capture pretty much any PAL. The only PALs that you can't really capture with this glitch are flying type and the bosses that you encounter within the towers. But yeah, other than that, you can capture pretty much any PAL by utilizing this trick that you can do. Oh, and also be sure to stick around at the end of the video because at the end, I'm going to be showing you all how to get an unlimited supply of PAL spears at an early level too. So you can keep trying what I'm about to show you over and over without having to worry about running out of pow balls. But yeah, anyways. So how this is done is, well first off, you wanna make sure you have a base available. As some of you may know, when you get your base level to level 10, you unlock a second base that you can place. However, if you don't have a second base, you can just dismantle your base wherever it's at currently, and then just replace it after you capture the powerful pal you're trying to get. As you can see, to dismantle your base, all you gotta do is just hover over it on the map. And then as you can see, you could choose to dismantle it. And once you do dismantle it, you'll be able to place it again somewhere else. And you can just place your base back to where it once was after you capture like the powerful pal or something that you're trying to get. I'm about to be showing an example with this glitch by capturing this Mamma Rest. As some of you may know, Mamma Rest are like in-game pals, and you will be able to capture this at a lower level than you typically would. But yeah, in case you're wanting to catch a Mamma Rest for yourself, here's where I'm located at on the map. You can find a bunch of them around in this general vicinity, around the very beginning. Well, here's how the glitch goes. Once you place your base, which you could place it by going over to Pal in the build menu, and then just pulling up a Pal box somewhere around the pal that you're trying to catch. That's the reason why you needed a base available. So now once you got it placed, you then just want to build it. And as a lot of you may know, Mamma Rest are pretty stationary pals. They don't really move around a lot. If you find a pal that does move a lot that you're trying to get, you may have to capture it in your base, like set up walls around it. Like you could spawn these foundations around them instantly and then put up walls to just trap it if you're having a pal that's just moving way too much. But Mamma Rest are typically stationary. They don't really move around a lot, especially at night. You can catch them sleeping quite a bit. You can catch a bunch of different Pokemon or pals at night sleeping. Uh, so if it's too difficult for you to do during the day, doing it at night will work just as easily. But how this goes is once you got your, but anyways, once you have your base placed next to the pal you're wanting, you then just want to set a fire underneath it. And what's cool about this glitch is once you start the fire underneath the pal you're wanting, it'll start taking damage. As you can see, it's starting to take damage from the fire. And while, and it's, However, it's not getting hostile with me. So that's how this glitch works. You can do this on any PAL and lower them as low as they can go so you could try to capture it so you have more of an odds of capturing that PAL. You don't even have to fight it. As some of you may know, Mamoresses are pretty difficult to take on, especially at a lower level. They can do some serious damage. This is a way where you can literally lower the PAL as low as you want so you have higher odds of catching it really easily. So I'm going to get this Mamma Rest pretty low here. Once it gets a little below half, I'm just going to destroy the fire. Which for those of you that don't know, you can destroy the fire just by simply pulling up the build menu. And then as you can see at the bottom of the wheel, it states disassembly mode. And this is how you can disassemble the fire. Once you click in that disassembly mode, you will then be able to disassemble things that are around at your base. So there, yeah, I'm going to destroy the fire now. I don't want it to... Uh, die from fire damage but I'm also getting raided that typically doesn't happen while I'm doing this glitch of course it happens when I'm trying to show how this works let's place this down just in case but yeah look how low the mammal rest is now didn't have to attack it and risk myself from dying or any of my pals so yeah this is why you can do this at any level typically it would be really hard to try to get a mammal rest low health if you are a lower level with lower level pals. Now I'm just going to go behind it because as some of you know, you have a higher chance of capturing it by throwing the pal ball behind the pal. So I have 1.50% to capture it. So let's see. Will this regular pal spear capture it? No, it didn't. That's unfortunate. Now it's going to be hostile with me, but that's normal. A way to get it not hostile with you and to stay the same health as it is, all you gotta do is just die. 
You can choose to just respawn by going to options or let it kill you. Once it does, when you respawn, you'll be able to respawn at your base where the powerful pal is located at. For this example, the Mammo Rest, and it'll still have low health, so you'll be able to attempt at capturing it again by giving it another sneak attack. So yeah, this is how it goes, guys. You just rinse and repeat this until you officially catch the pal you're trying to catch. This is definitely a useful trick to do with any level. You're able to lower pal's health to the lowest they could possibly be without having to worry about getting killed from them whatsoever until you try to capture them with a pal spear. But hey, at least you're able to get them as low as you want them to be, so they're easier to catch. For those of you that don't know, the lower health the pal is, the easier it is to catch. And also, when you're able to throw your pal ball at its back, that makes the catch even easier too. So it's a win-win. I'm just showing this as an example over a difficult pal to try to do this on, but yeah, it's still possible. It may take a lot of pal spears to finally eventually capture this level 35 mammo rest. Keep in mind, it's gonna be easier the lower level it is. So it could be a lower level for you than what you're seeing here for me. Either way, it's still possible to catch them. It just may take a lot of tries, but at least you have infinite tries pretty much until your pal spears run out. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a mega spear though to up my chances of capturing it by a little bit, just to show you that this is a way to get the powerful pal. Yeah. What? Oh. So yeah, as you can see, I now have a Mammo Rest. Now real quick here at the end, I'm just gonna show you all how to get an unlimited amount of Pal Spears really quick. For those of you that are needing them, so you could just keep attempting this until you catch the higher powerful Pals with the method I just showed you. Uh, one way to get an unlimited amount of Pal Spears is just by making a ranch at your base, which you learn how to make a ranch at level five in technology. You learn how to make this really early in the game. And once you make it, you'll then need to get Vixie Pals, which which they're located over near the small settlement fast travel point. That's one area where you can find them at. Just look for the fall trees over in this area and you should find some around in the vicinity. But yeah, just capture a few of these and then head back to base and assign them to work at your base and they'll start digging up pal spears at the ranch and as well as other goodies too but they'll dig up loads of pal spears you're never going to run out you can do this really early in the game too but yeah i guess that's our epping up this pal world video hopefully this helps you out i'm out of here as always thanks for taking the time watching and listening until next time peace